Welcome back, guys, for more Surviving the Abyss. In the first episode, we survived. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to kick the game's ass. The key to beating this game is to solve your problems one by one, but without creating new problems. And I'm going to give you a few examples. Currently, let's, let's, let's recap where we are. At the end of the last episode, I, um, I kicked off a batch of, uh, of clones. And we got... Look at it. Do you remember the first batch I kicked off? I got four fails. This time, four successes. So I guess it evens out. So we are up to 26 crew, which is just enough to run everything right now. So we've got one crew member unemployed. Okay, that's a good place to be. But obviously, it doesn't leave us room for expansion. We have got 96 food. We are currently producing 20 per day. I think that that number is wrong. It says we're consuming 26 and producing 20, but our food is going up. So that, oh, that is obviously wrong. And they need to fix that because it's crucial information. But hey, it is what it is. We have, we've run out of fish, so we haven't got any genomes to use. So we, that means we can't make crew. That's a problem that we need to fix. We have got crew that are malnourished. We need to fix that. We've got uh, a problem with uh, crew recreation access. Uh, less than 50% of the crew can access... Uh, the the, uh, the recreation facilities, which means that we've got a minus 10 penalty to crew relations. That needs to be fixed. In terms of resources, we're good on steel. We've got over 100 steel. Concrete, 69, snigger. Um, not terrific because we don't have a good source. In fact, right now, we don't have any sources of concrete, so we need to get more concrete. Uh, quartz, we're really good on. Iron, we've got loads of it. Uh, there's more there's more lying around that we can get and we can turn iron into steel so steel is not a problem coal coal is a problem we are gathering seven but we're consuming nine now this is what i mean about solving problems without creating new ones i have got another coal extraction point over here and i could put another coal extractor in there and that would solve this problem the problem is that it would be consuming more power consuming more oxygen it would be degrading our oxygen supply even more because these, these things degrade the oxygen by um, eight percent each one uh, and also it would take three crew which we don't have so then i've got to start closing things down and moving crew around and no no that's not what we're going to do right how do we solve the coal problem let's do these one by one coal i'm going to get a mining relay i've got a, a small coal deposit here just going to bang that in i'm going to assign three subs boom 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 that is problem solved for now. Is it a permanent solution? No, it's not a permanent solution, but it solves the problem for a considerable amount of time while we work on other things. Okay. Uh, the crew access. How do we solve that problem? Well, <laughs> in the last episode, I couldn't figure out why. Since I've got um, a mess hall here covering virtually all the crew, why, why they didn't have access? This says provides recreation to crew within its area of effect. What I didn't spot was the fact that it only supports recreation for eight crew members. So we need another one. You know what? I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's already linked up. Good. Is it, uh, is it powered? Uh, probably not. So let's just extend that down there so that's powered. Okay. That is going to solve the crew recreation access problem. Right. What's our next problem? We, we got no fish. If you overfish one of these habitats, it's lost forever. If like, if this gets down to zero of 15, it's lost forever. So we need to repopulate these somehow. Okay, well, how do we do that? This is something the tutorial doesn't tell you and it really should, because it's, it's kind of key. We've got to genetics. Marine stabilizer, boom. Now, this does require two crew. Well, at the moment, <laughs> I've, I, I, I've got no fish to process in the cloning lab. So I can turn the cloning lab off. That frees up two people. So I've got two people to go into there. Okay, awesome. Once I've got fish and I can create more crew, then I'll have crew to go and work in the, uh, in the cloning lab. Okay, That's, that seems to solve the problem without creating any new problems. Awesome. Right, the next one is crew are malnourished. Okay, 
we have another habitat over here. Now, what I could do right now is I could um, unlock the, what's it called? The protein harvester? Yeah, I could unlock the protein harvester, uh, put it on here, and it would provide a small amount of food. The problem is I want a large amount of high quality food. Uh, and if I put the, 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 the small one on here, if you delete it, it destroys this habitat. So I'm gonna go to advanced materials so I can build the more advanced one, put it straight on there and boom, problem solved. How are you gonna do that? Well, the way the game, you know, well, let's let that stuff build. The way the game wants me to find advanced materials is by building submarines and exploring, which is fine and I could do that, but then I would need more crew and no, 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 no. I'm gonna do it a different way. I've got a decent amount of steel. I want to explore large large parts of the map uh, i've got plenty of power so i'm going to just do it with light towers now i've oriented the, the the game map that we're looking at here the same way as this map okay so i want to go to a coral reef why do i want to go to a coral reef because coral reefs have copper uh, and they usually have plenty of it so we're going to go over here. it's the closest one there is another coral reef over here but it's further away I reckon I can get there with like, what, one, hopefully just two light sources should be able to get us over, two light towers. So let's do it. I'm going to go into, let's see, where are we? Uh, I want exploration and a light tower. And I'm going to put a light tower in, ooh, probably about there will do fine. Now, it's not just the cost of light towers. Light towers only cost um, steel, steel and glass. Uh, you've also got to factor in the cost of the power lines, which are steel. So I'm going to bring this out, bring it out over here, and then hook it up. Uh, let's see. I can go to that. There we go. All right. Let's get uh, let's get that built. We'll also get the marine stabilizer built and the recreation facility built, and then we'll see where we are. Okay. With those all built, now we are uh, or we are repopulating these so now we can turn these back on these are uh, these uh, fauna traps so let's turn that back on let's turn that back on awesome so now we're getting fish once we've uh, once we've got a few fish we can start producing more crew excellent we've got uh, we've still got plenty of oxygen we've got enough room for another two crew members so all good um the coal situation is is okay uh, but we're rapidly using this. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to, to the technology tree. So we'll do the coal efficiency upgrade. This will reduce our coal usage by 20%. Boom, done. Okay, so now we take a look at this. Our coal consumption per day has gone down from 9 to 8. So, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem like 20%. I guess they're rounding up, not down. Okay, whatever. Right. Uh, everything else is looking good. So, um, I've had a look here. <laughs> there is there is absolutely no resources here whatsoever. That is so unlucky. There is just nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Which is scary, but I'm still going to carry on. Uh, so, the next thing I want to do, exploration, light tower. Oh, uh, the, the people are unhappy that all of our food is low quality. Yeah, yeah we can afford to give them some extra, extra food. Okay, cool. We'll get that built. I've got to do the power again. That'll do. That'll do nicely. All right. No remaining. Okay, so we've used up that coal. Oh, no. That's a big problem. Um, I've got to say, like, that's utilized, like, 50-odd coal in, like, no time. Our daily gathering rate is seven. We're consuming eight. So we should only be using one of the... I do wonder if... Um, when you bring stuff in, if you haven't got storage space, if um, if it gets thrown away because there was like 50 odd coal there. So yeah, that's a little bit concerning. Uh, I'm gonna throw in some uh, some fuel store, uh, not fuel, yeah, uh, fuel, yes, yeah, coal, fuel storage. Maybe there. Yeah, let's throw in, let's throw in some fuel storage. And once that gets built, we have one more coal deposit around. Ah, biome discovered. Ha 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 ha. Awesome. Let's have a look. What, uh, what is here? 
Okay, we've got some quartz glass. And what else? We got, oh, we've got some steel. That's good. That's good. In fact, just that quartz and steel will pay for um, for these two light towers, like, easily. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll make a profit on that. So doing this, not a bad idea, as long as we've got spare power, which we have. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Is there anything else? So what did we get? Uh, 62 steel. 54 quartz glass. Really? Is that all? That's all. Okay. Well, at that point, we're going to throw in um, the next thing, which is a sonar tower. Yeah, we'll start at the top. This, <laughs> this better produce some good resources, because otherwise this is uh, not necessarily going to be so great, but we'll see. Okay. So it's powered up. We just need to get it built. Okay. Sonar tower built. What I'm going to do now is... Um, oh, hello. Hi. What are we going to find? I, uh, what I was going to say was we'll... Oh, ho, ho. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the scans possible from this uh, from this sonar tower. And then we'll we'll review them and see what we've got. Oh, we, we had a we had an attack. I didn't even notice that we got a, a sea monster. Uh, doesn't seem to have done any damage, which is good news. Oh, there's, there's not that much stuff. I mean, there is up there. There's loads of stuff up there, but there's not much down here. Uh, okay. Medium. Okay, I've thoroughly scanned the area for fuel, resources, points of interest, and habitats. Let's pause the game. Let's see what we got. I haven't looked yet. We only got uh, three habitats. They're down here. We got an abundant, an abundant. Oh, we got a common. Nice. Now, the way that you catch uh, common fish is that you use abundant fish as bait. So, getting common means that we can also use those common not just as genomes but also as bait to catch uncommon if we find uh, if we find an uncommon uh, bio, uh, habitat let's have a look we, we found a couple of points of interest which were both over here we got a sunken submarine and we got a, oh we got a decimated whale <laughs> i have no idea what they are um let's say we got some quartz glass we got iron ore small iron ore which is not terrific well, we, we should have some interesting stuff up here. Small concrete. Ah, oh, so small concrete. That's good. Another small concrete. Small copper deposit. That is what I want. That is exactly what I wanted, copper. Uh, let's see. We've got scrap steel. That's not bad at all. We've got a uh, quartz, quartz glass extraction point. That's terrific. An iron ore extraction point. That's also really good. More concrete. Good. Uh, and a small iron deposit, another small concrete deposit, that's awesome. A small coal deposit, and I guess another... Oh, we found an oil field! <laughs> oh, yes! Okay. We got copper, and we got oil. Oh, we, we looked out. Oh, my God, and we found aluminium. We found aluminium! Now, aluminium... Okay, the next thing I was going to do was go down here. This is, um, this is a kelp forest. This is where you find aluminium. Um, but we found aluminium up here. Wow. That is awesome. Got some coal over there. More scrap steel. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Oh, wow. We've got aluminium, copper, and oil. That is just absolutely huge. Okay. What we need to do now is, um, is start exploiting this area. So a light tower in there. Uh, let's get some power going out to that like yeah probably like that actually boom uh and then some resources let's get some resources coming in we definitely need steel we're down to 22 steel wow okay so uh, can i get this uh iron as well um, oh yeah i can oh ho, ho. 62 steel 114 iron in that goes and then can i get this one yes 76 steel whoa yeah that'll do I uh, can't pick up anything else, so that will do. Okay, um, we've got three subs idle, so let's get... You know what? Let's have one working on that. We'll have one working on that one. And then we've also got iron and coal down here. Oh, actually, with, the, with that all working out, 
No, I'm going to save the other sub for working on some concrete. So let's get that stuff built. Oh, we have a we have a little thing going on. What's this? Our sonar has indicated more abnormal activity near our base. Oh, the reading is larger than anything we've seen before. Okay, fine. Uh, in that case, I'll turn on my UV lighting. Ha ha ha. And scare the monster off, hopefully. Anomaly, objective complete. Good. Uh, what's this? Uh, our steel supplies are running low. Yes, they are. But we've solved that problem. But it's telling us uh, we need to start mining iron ore and converting it into steel in an alloy furnace. Build our first alloy furnace and create steel. Uh, we will do that fairly soon, I would think. Let's, uh, let's crank this up. Now, this does not always get rid of the monster, uh, but it does help to dissuade it. Now, we've got another event. What's this? Uh, it's Joseph McKeever's birthday today. Yes, take as much food as you want. The, uh, the plus 10 that we get on the crew relations uh, gets us up 68%, which is much more respectable. Uh, in goes that light tower. Now, they've got to build that. But by the time they've built that, I should have enough steel in to uh, to put in a power line. It's so dark, I can't see. I've had to turn the power grids on just so that I can see this. Uh, so I'll have to go through there to there. And then hook it up to there. All right. I wonder what new, new things are going to be revealed. Let's turn this off. Uh, let's slow the game down. And let's have a look. So what do we got? Concrete, 118 concrete. 235 copper. Woo -hoo -hoo. That is awesome. Let's see. Yeah, let's just plop it in. You know what? Just bang it in there. It doesn't matter where it goes. Uh, we've got one mining sub idle. Let's pop you in right there because you can bring in concrete and you can bring in copper. Oh, that is. Uh, in fact, we've got two, two lots of... Oh, there's another copper, uh, another concrete there. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that is, that is super sweet. Well, we've got another event. What's this? Uh, I'm in need of conductive materials. Okay, cool. Give him, um, we haven't, I'm not certain, I wouldn't give him copper if I had copper, but I'll give him 30 iron. And that gets us 50 research. We've now got 668. Uh, and we've got three copper. Let's go to the technology tree. I'm going to pause the game. Right, I want to go to life support. And then the molecular protein lab. <laughs> Costs 170. Unlock that. Right, what do I need for this? I need 15 copper. So all we've got to do is just wait to get 15 copper. And then we can put it in here. There is a problem, though. Because I noticed if I try and put... Uh, where are we? Genetics. If I try and put a fauna trap on here... It's invalid because it's partially in the darkness. So in order to be able to use that, uh, I've got to move this light tower, which is annoying, but it is what it is. So let's go to exploration, light tower, and I'll I'll get that built there. And then we'll we'll destroy that one and we'll get that get that put it. Oh, this is this is gonna be awesome. I've just found a bug. Look at this. This is uh, this is mining copper, okay? Um, yeah, we've got five copper. I shouldn't be able to mine copper. And the reason I found it was because I was going to switch this to just mining copper. If I try and switch this to mining copper, it comes up and says, you can't. You have to have the upgraded drill bit, which if we go into the technology tree and go to resources, here we go, reinforced drill bits. So I should have to unlock that. I'm, I'm actually going to. We'll unlock that. Um, but yeah, so you can actually get it just by doing mine all rather than being specific But I'm, I'm actually gonna switch it because we're okay for concrete right now. What we need is 15 copper go 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 While we wait for that to come in. I'm gonna kick off another batch of clones I think we've got one crew member sitting around doing nothing. So uh, let's open the genome sequencer and We've got we've got loads of everything. So we'll have a couple of spider crabs a couple of roast fish and begin cloning now there is a technology which allows you to unlock these slots uh, and it increases your chance of getting a successful clone the only problem is the more of these um, uh, abundant uh, genomes that you add the 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 shorter the lifespan because you get more mutation so um, I'm gonna wait once I get some some common or uncommon which allows me to decrease the mutation rate 
Uh, then, then I'll start unlocking these. But for right now, it's, uh, it's kind of no point. We are up to eight copper. Getting close. Oh, our, our, one of our clones has died from old age. Oh, isn't that a shame? Cloning failed. But uh, the first one was successful, I think. So, yes. So we're, we're still at 26. We've got enough copper. <laughs> Pause. I need to get rid of this one, don't I? Yes, I do. Uh, so let's just destroy that. We get half the resources back. So that's great. So now we can put in the molecular protein lab. Where is it? It's in, uh, not population, life support. Here we go. Molecular protein. This is a cool looking building, this. I like this. Oh, this is down in a, a bit of a depression. Oh, this is going to be fun. So uh, let's plonk that on there. Awesome. How are we going to get this hooked up is the question. I guess we'll hook it up to the marine stabilizer. This one, yeah. And hook into it. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. All right, cool. Let's get that built. Another one of our crew is reaching end of life. Oh, we're built. So all we need is some power down here. Let's run power like that. Okay. We just need to get some crew in here. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, the system has flagged the personal logs of a clone, Matt McQuaid. Uh, they are a generalist about to perform a dangerous experiment on themselves. They wish to cl clone themselves in an attempt to remove the genetic mu mutations aff affecting them. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Results could be interesting. And yes, they died, but they've recloned themselves. And th that means that they don't have a lifespan. That is awesome. Oh, we've got two crew reaching end of life. They're dropping like flies. But... We are, uh, we are, oh, no batches in progress, so we've, we've done, so we had, uh, we, oh, we got Matt McQuaid, there we go, so we got, we got two, all right, well, we'll just get another batch going, shall we? I think so, so let's do it down here, so spider crab, spider crab, does whatever a spider crab does, roast fish, roast fish, begin cloning, hooray, where are we, we're at 26, so we still got room for two more, one in there, and, and one in there, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? We've got tons and tons of research data at this point, so I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna turn the lab off for a bit. Turn the lab off. Oh, and we are now producing high quality food, and it produces two food every time this bar fills up. Boom. So what's gonna happen? We've got 14 malnourished, malnourished crew, and now we've got 13. <laughs> Or oh, Petru Hagen died from old age. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. We'll replace him very soon, I'm sure. 12 crew malnourished. <laughs> so basically, at this point, we, um, we have solved our malnourishment problem. We've solved our uh, recreation problem. We've got plenty of steel coming in, like loads of steel coming in. Concrete is the thing that we need, although we do have a couple of um, patches of concrete that we can we can get coming in. So I want to uh, I want to carry on with the exploration. So let's do that. Power. We need more power. What we can do. I've already turned that light off because we don't need it. Uh, we've got we've got seven power. Um, let's see. Are we using that? Is in is in this one, isn't it? Yeah, so I think we can. I think we can do without this light as well. So we can turn that out. Okay, that gives me twelve power to play around with. Oh, we've got Linda Bradley. So we're, we're up to twenty-eight. Uh, I should. I, that's that's full, isn't it? That's full. Okay, we should get some more crew quarters going. So what do I want? I want buildings. And I want population, and we'll throw in. What do I think? Like a couple of living quarters, or just one? Maybe just maybe just do it one at a time for now. Yeah, do it one at a time. There's no need. No need to go crazy. So uh, let's extend that out this way. There we go. So that's powered up. Cool. What I want to do, um, I said I wanted to get to uh, a coral reef, uh, but I also want to get down to this, this kelp forest. So let's do, let's head off in that direction, which, which I want to go almost, almost due south, but like a little bit across. Okay, let's do it. So probably about there would be good. All right, let's get uh, let's get that built. Uh, I've got some back up to 50 steel already, which means that laying in the power lines is not a problem. So let's get that hooked up down there. 
12 to there. Good. What's that? Small iron ore deposit. Awesome. Um, yeah, just um, get that built. How are we doing on crew? No batches in progress. Okay, well, let's um, let's get another batch going, shall we? And two more spider crabs, two more roast fish. Begin cloning. Awesome. There's one more thing that I want to do. Our gathering rate for coal is at seven. Our consumption per day is at eight. Uh, let's pause for a second. Uh, I want to solve that. I want to solve that. Let's go to, where are we? Technology tree and go to power. Okay, so if we go up here, so the coal efficiency upgrade. Well, let's do upgrade two. That means coal power generators will use 40% less coal. Let's unlock that, which means hopefully, yes, that we have now evened out our gathering and our consumption. That is awesome. So that means we could run this setup just as it is forever, power wise, uh, and we'd never run out of coal. That is a great position to be in. And that's a great place to leave it for this episode, I think. We have achieved uh, quite a lot. We have, we've solved our mal malnourishment problem. Uh, we're up to 28, uh, yeah, we're up to a population of 28 and still increasing. Food is awesome. We've got loads of fish. Uh, we found tons and tons of resources. We've got copper. We found aluminium. The only thing we haven't discovered is lead. I'd say things are looking pretty good right now. All right, guys. Uh, leave me your comments. Maybe even hit the like button. And I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.